So now that we have been able to append all three queries into one single data query and we also agreed that the key to appending our queries is the fact that the queries we are appending have the same structure of data, they have the same information and it's easy for us to just combine them all together into one single data query. Now I have a shocker for you. So let's go to take a look at the original data set. So this was a data in Excel and let's just use the sales column as an example. So in the corporate data, sales column happens to be the last column. Okay. In the home office data, the sales column is not the last column. And then in the consumer data, the sales column is also not the last column. All right. So now that aside, that aside, in this consumer data, the third to the last column is segment. That's why we that's where we have the consumer. In the home office data, the third to the last column is not segment, it is category. And in the first uh, data, the third to the last column is also category. So in essence, all columns are not arranged in the right order. So what exactly have we done? And what manner of mess have we really created? So let's go to inspect our query. All right, so this is it in Power Query. And just for you to be sure that we have the exact same information the way I just looked at it on Excel. If I go to the consumer query, you are going to see that the third to the last column is the segment column that has consumer, consumer, consumer. If I go to the corporate query, you are going to see that the uh, segment column is not third to the last. It is the fourth to the last column. That's why I have my corporate, corporate, corporate. And if I go to the home office query, you will also see that the segment column is also the fourth to the last uh, column. It is not the third to the last. That's why I have my home office, home office, and home office, right? So the only different one here really is the consumer query where the segment column that has the consumer, consumer, consumer happens to be in the third to the last column. We also saw that the sales column sometimes um, are not arranged in the same order. So in the consumer query, sales column is second to last. And the corporate query, sales column is actually last. And in the home office, uh, sales column is also not last, right? So the order of arrangement is different, but the truth of the matter is, if I go to my appended queries, you are going to see that I have no issues whatsoever because you will see that all the segments have actually been pulled together into the same segment column regardless of where they were originally, regardless of their original orders. So what that means is when you are appending queries, what is most important is that you have the same column headers regardless of the arrangement that you have there because it really will not matter at the end of the day because when you do your append queries, what Power Query does is to pull columns that have similar headers together or to put the values in columns that have similar headers together. So we also see that the quantity column is also properly appended because if I check in the home office query, the quantity column is last. If I check in the corporate query, the quantity column is not last. And if I check the consumer query, the quantity column is last, right? So the quantity column in the corporate query is the different one here, isn't it? But when I go to my appended file, you will see that the quantity seem to be lined up properly. 